diseases of the brain are some of the most complex topics in medical science and a lot of people don't really know much about them. But over time, some conditions have received public attention because a celebrity has suffered from it and has shared their experience publicly. Today, we are going to look at some neurological conditions that have received attention because of a celebrity. Let's go. Bruce Willis and Aphasia Recently, Bruce Willis announced that he is retiring from acting because he is suffering from aphasia. Now, aphasia is not so much a disease as it is a symptom of a problem of the language network in the brain. Now, the language network is predominantly on the left side of the brain, although not completely. There are many different types of aphasia, but the two most common ones are Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia. Broca's aphasia is when the frontal part of the network gets affected and a patient of Broca's aphasia would not be able to speak but he would be able to understand what people are saying to him. Whereas in Wernicke's aphasia, a patient would not be able to understand but would be able to speak which would often lead to something called as jargon speech. Aphasia is usually a result of some form of brain injury, either a stroke or a tumor or degeneration. Robin Williams is one of my favorite actors and it came as a shock when we learned that he had committed suicide. But it wasn't until much later that we learned that he was suffering from Lewy body dementia. Lewy body dementia is the second most type of dementia after Alzheimer's and it is part of the Parkinson plus syndromes. While Parkinson's disease involves slowing down of the body with tremors, Lewy body dementia involves a lot more. There could be visual hallucinations, psychosis, cognitive fluctuation and forgetfulness. The 2020 documentary Robin's Wish talks about his life and his struggle with this disease. After his death in 2016, his wife Susan wrote an article in the prestigious Green Neurology Journal titled The Terrorist Inside My Husband's Brain. She shared her first person account in watching Robin go through this disease and hoped that this in turn would help other caregivers who have family members suffering from Lewy body dementia. Prosopagnosia or face blindness is an interesting neurological condition where someone is unable to recognize the face of someone familiar to them. Earlier it was thought that this condition could only result from a brain injury and so was considered to be rare. Recent studies have shown that it could also be a genetic problem and in that respect could be much more common than we previously thought. Some studies have even gone as far as to say that it could be seen in 1 in 50 people. If this problem is severe, this could even lead to social anxiety where people avoid going into social circumstances because they have trouble recognizing others. And in more severe cases, someone could even have trouble recognizing their own face in the mirror. In a magazine interview in 2017, Brad Pitt explained how he had trouble recognizing faces and he would often be thought to be rude when he believes he actually has this condition. SLE is systemic lupus erythematosus. It is an autoimmune condition where cells of the body are attacked by our own immune system. This could lead to joint pains, oral ulcers, rashes and in severe cases could even affect the brain in a condition called a CNS lupus. This could take the form of forgetfulness, psychosis, behavioral change and even seizures. It is a serious illness and it requires management by an immunologist and the treatment includes steroids and immunosuppression. Fibromyalgia is the most common cause of chronic musculoskeletal pain, that is pain involving the joints and the bones. Patients with fibromyalgia often complain of generalized body pain and tender points. In a tweet in 2017, Lady Gaga revealed how she was suffering from fibromyalgia and has since made a Netflix documentary called Gaga 5 foot 2 that talks about her experience with the illness. 
fibromyalgia is a non-inflammatory pain and the cause is believed to be a central hypersensitization to pain. In other words, the pain networks of the body become dysregulated and so the body cannot control how much pain we are perceiving and often ends up feeling more pain than there is. The treatment is multimodal, which includes drugs for pain control, pain relieving exercises, physical activity and counselling. The trigeminal nerve is one of the cranial nerves, that is the nerves involving the head. It is responsible for all the sensations that we feel from one half of our face. Trigeminal neuralgia is a condition where the patient would feel sharp shooting pains. These pains are often in episodic bursts and they are often triggered by small actions like brushing your teeth or drinking water or being exposed to cold wind. At times, the pain could be so excruciating that it could lead to mental health problems like anxiety, depression and even suicidal thoughts. The management is predominantly pharmacological. There are drugs that can control the pain and there are surgical options that can also be explored. Myasthenia gravis is a disease of the neuromuscular junction. That is the junction between the nerve and a muscle. A nerve talks to a muscle using a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. And in myasthenia gravis, the muscle lacks the receptor to accept the acetylcholine. This leads to a nerve firing but the muscle not responding and this in turn leads to weakness. The weakness would often start around the eyes with drooping of the eyes called ptosis and it is typically worse later on in the day. These patients would get tired easily and their symptoms often worsen on activity. If untreated, the disease could often progress to involve the throat and the lung muscles and that could lead to difficulty in speaking, difficulty in swallowing and in severe cases, difficulty in breathing. The treatment has to involve a neurologist, a chest physician and sometimes an ICU care specialist. So these are some neurological illnesses that have received attention because of celebrities sharing their experiences. Have you heard of any of these? And are there more such cases that I should talk about? If you found this video useful, hit that like button, share it with your friends and let me know in the comments what other videos you think I should cover on this channel. I'm Dr. Sid Warrior. Take care everyone.